In this video, I'm going to video about this app called Tumblr. It's able for free in two operating systems, iOS and Android. Today, I'm going to review the iOS version. As you can see, it has very nice and simple layout, so that it's very easy to use. I will first start off with the home section. In this section, you can see blog updates from the people that we follow. You can also report on things that you want to post in our blog by clicking this button here. You can also add caption for your report post. If you like the post, you can tap on this love button here. You can also double tap the picture to like. For this notes button, you can see the people that we blog and like this particular post. By clicking on the photo, it will turn you will turn to full screen view. And by holding a photo, you can email, save, copy, and copy the URL of a photo. In this section, you can research on trending tag, or you can just click on the display tag. Let's say you search about Batman. It will show up all the blog posts include that tag. You can track the tag too. Tracking will display the tag every time on the display tag section. Here, you can see your account profile. Over here, you can see the people that just started following you, reblog your posts, and like your posts. This like button shows the history of your likes on other blog posts. This shows the blogs that you have followed. By clicking them, you can see all of their posts. You can like and reblog it here from here too. As you can see the top right, you can tap on the unfollow button to stop following them. This find blocks, it allows you to search on a particular block. You can also search it by choosing this category. Maybe you want to find about food. All of these blocks are food related. You can tap more than one, then click follow. In this button, you can see your own blog post. You can edit the post by clicking this. And if you want to delete the post, you can click this trash button. Now, bottom right hand corner, there's this blue button here. This blue button, you can post your own blog post. You can either choose text, photo, code, link, chat, and video. If you want to write a post for your blog, you can click text. If you want to upload a photo, you can click photo and it will start directly to the camera. Different options function as they say. And that's about it. Overall, I really like this app and I hope you will like it too. Thank you.